Hi, everyone. How you doing? Uh, welcome to BND, the Banker Next Door podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Joe Berquist, and I'm being joined here today by Jonathan Burton, who is the Director of Development for uh, Independence Historical Trust. And we're talking about, we're going to talk today about a really cool uh, project that is very near and dear to my heart. Uh, being a, a Philadelphia native, being kind of a, a Philly boy, if you will, uh, there's a historical building in downtown Philadelphia called the First Bank of the United States, which has been a, a monumentally historic property there for a long time. But it is a building that has been, you know, kind of fallen on hard times, hasn't really been usable for the last uh, probably 50 to 75 years. Uh, but it has played a major uh, historical role in the founding and development of the economy in the United States of America. Uh, a lot of people think that the Federal Reserve is the first central bank that the United States had, and that's actually incorrect. The first, this actually was the first central bank the United States had. It was uh, Alexander Hamilton uh, would played a tremendous role in the founding of this and, and getting it up and running. Uh, the bank was originally chartered in 1791. It had a 20-year charter, which ran until 1811. Uh, the building itself, I believe, was completed in 1795 and then began operations from there. The charter, uh, very interestingly, was not renewed by Thomas Jefferson. Um, and that's a whole kind of a whole nother podcast. We could do a whole nother uh, kind of conversation there on the historical significance of there. Um, from there, after the charter ended, it basically went on to become Girard Bank. Uh, I will eventually do another uh, podcast on kind of uh, Mr. Girard and the Girard family uh, being very prominent. Uh, citizens here in Philadelphia and did a lot of really interesting things for the for the city of Philadelphia, uh, ran Girard Bank for a number of a long time, long period of time here in the city. But uh, getting back to it, so what I really wanted to bring Jonathan into here today was there was a lot of developments going on with this with this building. I was hoping Jonathan could tell us a little bit about it and give us a little bit of background as to how he got involved in this project. Sure. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, oh, I've been the uh, director of development for the Independence Historical Trust since uh, June of last year, June of 2022. And great. And so, so did you? Um, did somebody in Philadelphia approach you about renovating this building, or was this somebody that came from the like National Historical Society? Right. So, uh, well, the Independence Historical Trust were uh, the friends group, uh, the nonprofit partner to Independence National Historical Park. Um, and in about 2016, 2017, the superintendent of Independence Park approached us, the trust, to see if we uh, were, were willing and capable of raising $17 million to restore the first bank and turn it into a museum. This is, of course, when the project was, was only $17 million. I'll give you an updated number on that later. <laughs> Um, so what, I mean, so at the end of the day, what are you hoping to do with this building? Like you guys get the renovations completed. What, what is, what does it become? What is it, what does it turn into? Yeah. So it's going to, it's going to turn into a museum about the early American economy. Uh, so I'll give you a little update. So we, the, the trust raised four and a half million dollars, um, from about 20, 2017 until now. Uh, and that was for all the design costs for the building. That was for the architects that was for a museum exhibit design firm project managers and things like that um so now the exhibits are designed um after our four and a half million dollar raise that that helped us unlock if you will 22.2 million dollars of federal funding for the construction phase of the project that money's coming from the great american outdoors act um, it's already been a lot and we have a contractor selected um, and construction should begin in early september Man, and that's, that'll that's last, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, the construction will last for a couple of years, as you can imagine. We have to completely redo the building, all the mechanicals, yeah. HVAC, plumbing, electric. Um, we're building a, a building, an exterior building out back of the bank that will become the, the uh, visitor entrance. Very nice, very nice. And um, do you, I saw in in some of the articles that were in the papers that you guys were talking about maybe uh, doing some things with like the American Bankers Association in you know trying to I guess either do events or or maybe do different kind of things at the building there over the years. Do you do you have any update on that? Could you talk about like maybe how yeah, that might yeah, evolve? So Joe, we, we will have revenue generating events. We'll be able to rent the bank out and have private cocktail receptions and dinners and things like that. Um, um, the, so the first floor museum, museum is more of an open, open concept museum. museum. So it'll have a nice room in, in, in the rotunda. Uh, you'll be able to have events there. 
Um, um, on the second the floor, floor, we are creating a, a large classroom. Um, and one of the goals of the trust is to have financial literacy programs on the second floor of the bank. You know, so it could be you know a museum during the day, and you know maybe evenings or weekends we can have you know, and, and invite young you know young folks, fourth graders, or even teens, high school kids to get some financial literacy course in the first bank of the United States. That's fantastic. I mean, that that's really great. I mean, and I, I think this is why, you know, this project was so near and dear to my heart because uh, it, it is a great project, not only for the city of Philadelphia, but it's I think it's a great project for the for the banking industry itself. Um, I, I think it would be a great thing for any, you know, any young kids to be able to come and kind of learn about, you know, how the economy of the United States, uh, how it got started why certain things were done, like why, you know, why did the, why the central bank, why was it needed? You know, what were, what were um, Hamilton's thoughts on that? And, and I, I think there's just a tremendous amount of history there. Um, I think it's also important to understand, uh, and again, we'll get into that, but you know, why, you know, eventually why Thomas Jefferson did not renew it, because that, that's a, that's a, uh, a very deep and uh, interesting conversation actually, James in Madison, itself. James Madison was president when he didn't renew the charge. Yes. Okay. And, uh, you know, so it was, uh, you know, it's a very, uh, but again, it's just, it's an incredibly historic building. I, I'm, I'm so uh, just kind of happy and thrilled that your organization uh, stepped up to really make this happen. Um, can you talk a little bit about, you know, your organization and what you, you know, what your group does and, and how, maybe how long they've been doing it? I mean, is this, is this a normal project for you guys or do you? This is, this is the largest project in our, so we're a 51 year old organization. We are the very first friends group for a national park in American history. Uh, we, we were started in 1972 when the superintendent of Independence Park, um, you know, we really wanted to galvanize some, some citizens to, to start a 501c3 to get some projects that he that couldn't he quite get funded by the federal government, government done for the bicentennial. And here we are, you know, the trust again. And back then we were called the Friends of Independence National Historical Park. We did change our name in 2017 to the trust. Uh, but here we are again, you know, we're getting ready for the semi centennial in 2026, Americans here 50. And, you know, the superintendent, you know, asked us to raise the money to restore the first bank as a museum. And, 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 and we're doing that, you know. Uh, some other projects we have right now, um, Actually, right, right up third and Walnut, uh, we're going to be creating the Bicentennial Bell Garden. Uh, Queen Elizabeth II uh, came to America, Philadelphia in 1976 and dedicated the bell um, that was actually made at the same foundry as the Liberty Bell. And it's basically been in storage for the last 10 years. So we are going to create a whole garden and display the bell. Oh, that's fantastic. That's great. That is great. Um, John, where where can people, if people want updates on on this project for the First Bank of the United States and for the project you just mentioned, what's what's the best way for them to get updates or or find out about kind of what the like continuing progress? Yeah, yeah. The best way to go. So we have we have a, a, a website um kind of on the side of our, our normal trust website. It's called firstbankphilly.com. Um, there's ways you'll learn about the project there, the project partners, the exhibit design team that we hired. Uh, there's a place to donate. That's a, oh, that's that's fantastic. That's great. Um, and sp uh, speaking of donations, so they can donate on the website. Is there is there any other way for them to donate? Um, how else? Um, how else would um, or or I should say, if if any if anybody also in addition to that, if anybody's interested in contacting you or your organization, what would the what's the best way to do that? Uh, so yeah, best way to do that is email me. It's uh, pretty simple. It's Jonathan at inht.org. Um, you'll also find my information on our website, which is www.inht.org. Oh, fantastic. Um, again, yeah, this is just a great project. It's near and dear to my heart. Uh, it was, you know, it was very interesting. I'm, I'm involved. I've been involved for a, a long time with a, uh, with a banking school, banking school that is, is, uh, part of the American Bankers Association called the Stone Year Graduate School of Banking. Uh, back in 2019, uh, I was actually working with a couple people. We were actually going to put together kind of a small fundraising networking event uh, for this project. And, and we, we were actually coordinating uh, the CEO of the American Revolution Museum, which is literally right across the street, right next door, was was kind enough to uh, be, be uh, offering to, to host us. And so we we had, we were going to invite you know a whole bunch of Stonier alumni from all over the tri-state area, which is 
PA, New Jersey, Delaware, and try to get them all down. Maybe even maybe even would have reached out to some people in DC and New York to see if they would have come down and been uh, been part of that event. <laughs> the that event was scheduled for March of 2020, and we 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 all we all know what what happened in March 2020. So unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately that, that event fell apart and, uh, you know, and and this, and this thing kind of got, uh, put on the back burner. And, and again, when I, you know, when I kind of saw the press, I saw some of the articles that came out in the news, I was just so excited about it, uh, coming on. And I really wanted to try to bring some awareness to it. Uh, because like I said, it's, it's a great project. It's great for Philadelphia. It's great for the banking industry. It's great for uh, young people that are just learning about our, our economy and our, our, the history of our economy. So, uh, with that being said, um, any, any final thoughts or any, any final comments, John? No, th- I mean, thanks for having me on the show today. I appreciate it. It's uh, we're, we are, you know, equally as excited about the project, and we're, we're we just can't wait to see it come to fruition and turn into a museum. And it should be should be open by April twenty twenty six. That's great. That's fantastic. Um, thank you so much again. It's Jonathan Burton with Independence Historical Trust. I thank you so much for your time, John. And I hope that uh, you know I would love someday to to have you back with an update. Uh, maybe in like a, you know, maybe in like a year or so we'll get back. Uh, but I would, I would love to actually tour the building and maybe do some video with you, uh, Absolutely. down there once, uh, once things are, are, you know, about to open. And, uh, I think that would be, I think that'd be great too. I think people would love to see it. And we'd love to have the Estonia school in, 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 uh, you know, as soon as it's ready, ready. We, and we, we I, I will have that conversation with them. I will reach out to them and talk to them about that and see if we can get uh, something set up. Uh, you know, they're they're in Philadelphia every in June of uh, every year. So uh, maybe maybe not 25, but maybe 26. If you guys if things go well and everything's on on pace, maybe uh, maybe June of 2026. We'll see if we can uh, hook something up for that. Love to have you. So no, it's great. So again, uh, hey, thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank you.